Hey YouTube, this is DK James 5 and I'm doing this video to answer a subscriber's question. And her question, first she's YouTuber starting a new 100 and she asked me this question. Could you do a video about how you make time with three kids and homeschooling because I have four kids, 14, 8, 6, and 1, and my husband works 24 on and 48 off. I tried the 5 a.m. wake up, but some mornings my baby gets up too. I just need some advice. Thanks. Now, of course, trying to find the time with working out, plus when you're homeschooling. Now for me, plus when you have a business, because I have, you know, you know, there's some days where I have to make products and there's some days where it's busier than others. So it's a combination. Now when you, you have to get to the place where you say, you make that a top priority on your list to get in that workout. And um, sometimes it can be where the only time you get in a workout is in the evening. Or, you know, and now you, you have a one year old. And so I know, man, I know that's difficult to try to get in a workout when they're that young. So I try, I, my advice to you is anytime that your child uh, takes a nap, goes to sleep, use that as an opportunity to get in a workout, even with a six and an eight year old, because I have a six and eight year old as well. And what I do, so I, my, my children's ages are nine, eight, and six. And you know, usually what I'll do is um, either they'll do, especially if it's a certain type of workout, and I might have them do it with me, or I might tell them just go back there, go play let, while mommy gets in a workout, and they do that. Now, there have been times when I've told them to do that, and I've had to push pause like five or six times just because they're fighting, getting into it, someone's crying, someone, you know, all that kind of stuff. So during this journey, it wasn't perfect where I was able just to do a workout and no interruptions, no. And it's just, it, will, it could be difficult at times. So find the time to work out. Also another thing is, um, I don't know what curriculum you're using. I use a Switch on Schoolhouse curriculum and that starts at third grade. So it's a CD-ROM base if you, if you haven't heard of it. So that makes it easier for me because now I'm not saying it's because I still have to go over things with them. and But it does take a lot of the hard work out of it. And so my fourth grader and my third grader are both doing that curriculum. Now my first grader, you know, she's too young to start that curriculum. So she's, I'm doing the Rod and Staff curriculum with her. And you know, so it's, it's a little, it's, it's easier for me to get into, a, get in a workout. So I can have him get started on some, my son. And then I can have my daughter read and I can have, you know, someone give them each something to do. Then go ahead and get in my workout. Um, you know, so that's my suggestion to you. You know, if you're not, I wouldn't even think about, I don't even get up. Like I said in the video, I don't even get up at 5 a.m. Um, that's just too early for me. Um, cause usually, um, my nights are, I don't, I don't go to bed like super early. So 5 a.m. won't work for me. I just found the time that works for me, which is in the afternoon. Now it used to be, I used to work out in the mornings, like at 10 o'clock. But now I work out, it's usually like 2.30, between 2.30 and 3 o'clock is when I usually get in my workout. Now what I do also is I set a timer on my phone and just a kind of a reminder to remind me like it's my workout time or whatever challenge I'm doing, like we're doing the push-up plank challenge, just to remind me to go ahead and do that because you know I have so much going on. So that helps. So I, I hope I offered good tips, it's just um, you just have to squeeze it in when you can. For me starting out, I had to squeeze it in when I when I could. Um, there are times when I just couldn't do a workout, and I'm just like, man, I'm just gonna have to do it later. And um, but there have been times I have to push pause plenty of times because of the kids. So the kids can't make it a struggle, but I was determined that I wasn't gonna allow that to stop me from getting in my workout. And I even I think there are times I got frustrated. And I told them, you're not gonna stop mommy from getting in the workout <laughs> because I'm doing this to better myself. I'm doing this to be a better mommy for them. You know, and they don't understand that. And just like my kids didn't understand that I was overweight. They didn't see it until I showed them before and after pictures. And um, so, yes. So you just have to be determined to get in that workout, even if it is 15 minutes. Even if, okay, a way to get them involved, go for a walk. You know, having all the kids with you and walk at a fast pace to where that's, if that's the only way you can get in the exercise for now, then, you know, start with that. So I hope this encouraged you, give you some tips. Uh, I don't feel like I, I feel like it gave you some great 
tips, but that's just the best I could give you, you know. But I, I do hope this helps. And but you just just be determined. And then because remember, my husband did work out of town, so he was gone 12 days at a time, and then he was only home two, so it was 12, gone 12, back two. So I had to, you know, get in workouts. This was him out of town, you know, because it's. Um, so I had to find the time and it was difficult, but I still found the way to do it. So let that encourage you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, you have a blessed day. Bye.